pre-primary foundation and pre-primary exam class. Welcome to Peso Studios at home. I really miss teaching you guys on a Saturday and I really hope you're all ever so well and you're being extraordinarily good for mums and dads. I know you will be because you are wonderful children. And I love you to bits and I miss you very much. And what I'm gonna do here in this very small space so that you can do it at home is do your whole uh, syllabus class, guys. So this, my foundation class, won't know it all. My exam class will know most of it, if not all of it. But I suggest, mums and dads, if you can use this, do it twice a week, three times a week. Then, by the time we get back, we can all take the exam and we can all move up. Wouldn't that be amazing? Now, you all know the first thing you do will be to run into the room and to stand in your spots. But obviously, we don't need to practice that today. And naturally, your first exercises are your feet exercises and your arm exercise on the floor. So, as always, my loves, if you can get down to the floor like professional dancers, show mums and dads how we do that. I'm just going to put my phone down so I can press play on the music. So, once you've run in your curtsy or bow, Josiah, and then we will be holding our skirts and we kneel on one knee, we kneel on the other knee, and then we put the fingers to the floor, legs round, and I'm sitting far back from you because I know that. I think my feet are just in shot now. And I'm trying to sit with my back lovely and straight and fingertips to the floor. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna whiz straight through it all for you. And then anytime you want to stop, do the exercise again, and then see if you can do it without watching me. Mummies and daddies can uh, give you a little, little exam yourselves at home. That'll be fun. Maybe you can earn some treats, sweet treats, popcorn. What else do we love? Pizza that we've talked about. Who knows? Let's have some fun, team. So here we go. Exercise for feet. So exercise for feet. You start with your feet stretched, and then lift your toes to the ceiling. Sitting tall, stretch two, three, flex two, three. Stretch two, three, flex. Now all the way through to the tiptoes. Really slowly, and then up. You got it. Stretch two, three, flex two. Stretch two, three, flex. Are your shoulders down? Is your back straight? Are your knees straight? Are you in timing and up? Good job. Sitting cross legged, ready for your arm exercise. Exercise for feet. Fingertips in your peripheral vision. Little lift off of the ground on the introduction. Sorry team, we're going to go into our knee bend. All right, so everybody feet together. Just like your hands on your waist. Girls holding your skirt. Good job. Now keep your bottom tucked under. You bend and stretch. Bend and do stretch. Think ahead now. Bend and stretch, rise, turn to the right shoulder. Feet into first, plie, stretch. So it's exactly the same for you, but your hands are on your hips. Now this time, we don't turn. Well done, everyone. And bend your knees and stretch. Now your examiner's looking for you. 
exercise. So dégage and exercise. Dégage and exercise. Victor and first, this is your head one. We go stretch and close. Stretch, head to the side, back to the front, just your head. Don't let those tummies go around the corner. Stretch and close. Lots of floor pressure. Is that leg straight in front of you? Exercise. We don't want that one again. For so mummies and daddies, please do do that one again if you want to. And making sure that those legs are straight in front of you, dancers. Not out here, not across there. Coming back into a lovely first. And try to keep everything pointing forward when you do those head turns. All right, team? Good job. So now we're going into the set arm exercise for girls. Set arm exercise for girls. Okay. somebody signing in for me. I'm just going to ignore that story team. Okay, we're going to go into your step to the side and point in step. fondue. Remember, step. seven, and seven. Step. Okay, girl skirt, boy waist. Okay team, nice and strong now. Here you go. Step, snap, plie, push. There's two. One. Section. So this is your clapping. Clapping. 
Waltz time. Waltz time in first feet in first position, please, everyone. Prepare those hands. First position, don't we, team? Josiah, hands on hips, girls holding your skirt. Introduction, stretch the foot at the front. You walk forward, slow, slow, quick, quick, I've run out of room. Slow, ah, I'm on the, the side. It's Queso Studios. Never mind, go. 
guys. Hope you've got a bit more room than I have. We go to the left to step, just saying you would bow. Girls, curtsy. And then turn to the right shoulder, everybody. Finish with your feet in a lovely first. Spring point right, change, too slow. Quick, quick, slow. We turn to the right, so if you're Wallace, you know this is your little, little tick, yes? We're always gonna go to that right shoulder, gorgeous dancer. Go to the right in a semicircle to start back at the beginning and stretch your foot. It's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Your legs are turned out, dancers, turned out, please. Step, Josiah, close your feet into first and bow. Girls, curtsy and turn to the right. There it is again. Now this is fast. Think ahead, dancers. Step, close, plie, point. Step, close, plie, point. A little run, almost on the spot. Kneel on your left knee and arms in a low cross, okay? Now, that was all done with my back to you. I'm now gonna do it with you, so do it coming towards me, and I'm gonna do it on the leg you should be going on. So walking with your right leg forward. Yes, my loves? Okay, just slide your hands on hips, please, mate. Here we go. It's a good dance, this one. Short, but quite challenging on the tempos. Dance. Here we go. Ready, stretch your foot. Slow, see my legs turned out. Go to your left, then turn to your right. I'm just moving back. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Go to your right, and then stretch your foot. Don't be late. One, two, quick, quick. Come right forward, step, curtsy or bow, and turn. Here it is, plie, push. Did you get there in time, guys? And a little run. Girls, arms, just lie your arms. Just go onto your waist at the end there. How did you do? Did you do curtsy? Oh, oh. so we're already at the end, which is the curtsy and the bow. But before we do that, for my pre-primary, Exam class and my foundation, you can have a go at this, just have some water. It's quite hot in here. Um, gonna do your mime. We love the mime, don't we? But we need to be really clear about our actions. So I'll do it. Shall I just do it? And for fun, we'll see if mummies and daddies can work out what it is that we're doing. So we know acting without words is our mime. Now examiner wants to see what amazing actors and actresses we are. So I wonder if your mummies and daddies can work out what I'm doing. I started the mind by the way, mums and dads, in case you just think I'm being really weird. Oh, <laughs> that was my hip that crap dances. Did you hear that? I'm getting too old for this, clearly. Did you get it, mums and dads? <laughs> we love this one, don't we, guys? So, just a little reminder, and I'll go through talking it through with you so you can really practice these very clear moves with mummies and daddies. 
we're on our broomstick or our broom if you're a wizard. It's the exact same thing. What am I talking about? You're on your broom, you're running in, you're getting off your broom. That's when your hip might crack. You put your broom down and you spy your cauldron. You walk around it, rubbing your hands together. This is exciting. We've got a potion. Oh, we're going to smell it. Oh, it's revolting. Oh, 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 stinky. Let's taste it. We taste it. Hmm, it's missing something. I know. A tooth. Pull that tooth out, chuck it in, and give it a stir. Yes, as big as you can. Let's taste it again. Mm. Maybe you always use your right hand for the tasting. Mm. Still missing something. <gasps> I've got an idea. An eyeball. Throw that eyeball in. Don't forget you've taken your eyeball out now, so it's got to be closed. And give it another stir. Ugh, what a potion this is. And then, let's taste it one last time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's perfect, delicious. So let's scoop up the spell and throw it at the examiner. You got it, guys. Make sure you practice your mind for me loads and loads. And mums and dads, if you can make up any more minds, maybe something you've been doing in the day. Oh, I don't know. I know you're not going to school at the moment, but getting up, going to school, maybe baking a cake. Oh, come up with some different minds and maybe film yourselves and share them with us. And we'll see if we can have fun in a little competition, seeing if we can guess what people are miming. I'd absolutely love that. And why do we do mime? Because so much of our ballets, the classical ballets, those wonderful stories, Swan Lake, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, more recently Frankenstein, um, Winter God, Winter, Winter's Tale, there's so much of it is acting. And that's why we need to be great actors in ballet. And just to finish, I'm just going to show you your curtsy and then Josiah for you, your bow. Please practice both, girls. It's very important to be able to do both. Well done, everyone. So your curtsy. Curtsy. All right. Girls, holding your skirt, please. You step. Curtsy. Feet first. Step. Put that foot at the back. Just on the ball bend. Good job. Just sign your hands on your waist. Curtsy. Oh, not again. I'll do it to the back, actually. Just so you can see that foot at the back. Step. Foot on the demi. And step. Curtsy and first. Sorry about that other button, everybody. You're used to it now. Bow. There we go, team. Just sign your Please, Josiah, on your movement. That's it. It's not that long, but it's a lot of steps, and the examiner wants to see them all performed with a lot of precision, great technique, and you really need to know your settings. So get practicing, my gorgeous pre primary dancers. I miss you loads. And we've got lots of other classes in the pipeline for you that are a little bit more queso fun. We don't like to bore you with loads and loads of exam stuff, but it's really good for our discipline and for our technique. Okay, everyone, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye now.